Whenever I walk through here, I'm just reminded of Limpwort series, where he had to slay 500,000 men in Lumbridge. And it just reminds me, it, make, it makes me think of it from their perspective, and it just reminds me of this clip. We're just normal men. What do you mean, normal men? We're just innocent men. <laughs> And they're just stood around going, we're just men, we're just normal men, innocent men. As he's just like coming at them with a fucking mithril battle axe club in their head in. <laughs> On the last time of Extreme One Pet at a time, we finished Cabin Fever and got ourselves a black mask. We started our beaver grind by getting up to level 80 woodcutting. Knocked out an important Song of the Elves requirement with level 70 smithing, continued working on 69 Slayer for Monkey Madness 2, and got some important milestone levels with 77 runecrafting and 70 range. Four minutes to the update, which I don't know what it is, uh, but here is the opening clip of the episode 64 Slayer, 1625 total. Uh, should be able to get 69 Slayer for Monkey Madness 2 this episode pretty easily. Um, but we've also got a shit ton of quests to do. So, I should get on with those at some point. But Slayer is fun. So we shall stick with Slayer. Okay, and by stick with Slayer, what I obviously meant was stop doing Slayer and do quests instead. Um, <laughs> so I've got five quests in a row that I need to do to get Sins, uh, to get to Sins's father. So I need to do the the Miraqui quest, Miraqui Mayaqui Mayaqui surely. Um, so I've got to do those quests. Um, can you do the Morton teleport? That would be really helpful if I could. No, brilliant. Okay. Um, I think you can use a fairy ring to get there pretty easily. Um, so yeah, I need to do the MyQ quest, I need to do uh, Darkness of Hallow Vale, um, the one that's before, oh no, Taste of Hope, and then Sins of the Father. So that is a very, very brutal, uh, you know, set of quests that I need to do because they're all so long. Um, but it will be worth it because I'll be able to craft blood runes at... Uh, at Guardians of the Rift, and that will just help me so much in the long run. Okay, that should be In Search of My Q done. That one's super quick and easy. The classic Pure Destroyer. Um, and now we need to do In Aid of My, my Q, I believe. Cool, right, got all the requirements for that. Okay, right. <clears throat> that quest took longer than I thought it would, but that is In Aid of Mayaku, which means Darkness of Hallavale is next. Uh, oh, start Darkness of Hallavale, there we go. So, where is that quest in the quest log? Uh, right, what do I need? Uh, not much, just some nails, so that's pretty easy. As of yesterday, Jagex released Forestry. So there are a load of completely useless rewards from that. Um, but one of the main changes they've made is they've made it so that uh, trees have like a minimum timer to spawn. And the teak trees, I believe, is 30 seconds, which is actually a huge difference from what it was before. Because what it was before was it was a one in eight chance of falling. So occasionally, when you were two tick uh, cutting teaks like I am now, you would click the tree and cut one log and it would fall over. Um, and then you do that with the other tree as well. And you'd be stood there for a while not cutting, which would cost you loads of XP per hour. Now, there is a third tree slightly to the southeast that you could move to to stop that. But it was a fucking boar lake. And it made it, for me, that it was better to do 1.5 tick teaks. Now that these trees don't fall so often, so there is never a time when you're um, without a tree to chop stood exactly on this square, this has become a lot more viable. And the teaks on Fossil Island, the ones you grow in your farm patch, aren't affected by this update. So they still can fall over all the time um, and you know leave you times where you're, you don't have any wood cutting. And because I don't have stamina, I can't do the 
elite technique of kind of running around on the corners. Um, I have to kind of step one square to one square. So on Fossil Island, I kind of get screwed by that. Um, so doing two techniques at the moment, I'm getting about uh, 140,000 XP per hour, which is very good. And also with the forestry update, they introduced the uh, the like anima stuff and the, the random events, which can give you loads of XP. Um, and the Fossil Island trees don't spawn those either, uh, whereas these do. So I'm thinking I'm going to stick to two tick teeks for a while. Um, it's also a lot, lot less click intensive, right? Which seems crazy for something that's about 100 actions per minute. But this is far easier, it's far more rhythmic, and I think generally better. And I think for me, with the restrictions I've got, probably about the same XP per hour. So... Yeah, we'll stick here for a while and uh, I'll show you how to uh, two-tick the uh, anima roots when they spawn. So the goal today is to see how much woodcut in XP I can get in a day. So I started the day off with 2.5 million XP on the counter, uh, which is level 82. Um, and we're going to see what we can get between now and later when I'm uh, on mobile uh, I think it sh I think I should be able to do easily 1 mil XP um, God, I'm fucking this up now because I'm talking um, but yeah should be should be a decent little goal 1 mil woodcut and XP in a day if I can do that every single day we'll have this beaver pet in no time so in the last video I asked for people to subscribe for the first time since I started doing YouTube again um, and guess what it works. That's why people do it all the time. Um, because I normally gain about 60 subscribers per video. Um, and on the last one, I gained 250. So asking for subscribers works. So uh, here I am again saying, please subscribe. And look, I can even do one of those cringe lord animations that everyone does. Cringe lord, subscribe! So with the forestry update, not only did we get the longer um, spawning trees, but we also got these random D&Ds. Um, and if you look at this clip, you can two-tick the roots, the, like, the new tree roots that come up. Um, so not only is that really, really quick anima bark, um, but if you look at this clip, not only um, did I fuck it up a little bit, um, but I was also only getting like 97 XP per one. Um, where sometimes you can get up to about 115, at least in my experience. Um, but over this clip, I got about 4k experience in less than a minute. So two ticking these roots is like a 300k XP per hour D and D for woodcutting, which is absolutely mental. And here we are coming in with level 84 woodcutting. Hopefully, just you know the second of many today. And there is 3 million woodcut in XP, which means we've gained 500k XP just today. And it is just going over 1pm at the moment, so we've still got plenty of hours to go. Um, I'll have to transition to mobile later, but I've figured out it's actually really easy to do 2 tick woodcutting on mobile. Um, so that'll be no problem at all. Good start. Okay, right, we've got some anima bark, so let's, uh, what should we get? I think probably the lumberjack hat is the best. Uh, cool, right, there we go. 50 collection logs as well. So if I stick this on, we should get 0.4% bonus woodcutting XP. I look ridiculous, but more woodcutting XP. I guess it's a good thing because even though I don't need more woodcutting XP for, like, to roll the pet, the higher level I get faster, the more the pet rate goes down, if that makes sense. Yeah, and the more logs I'll be chopping like per hour, right, which means more rolls of the pet as well. So this is technically a slight improvement. And there is 85 woodcutting. We, are, we have been smashing it today. We're at, uh, what, over 750k XP gained today uh, and it is 4 p.m. right now so we're going to be um, we're going to be hitting the oh god I can't do this and talk 
Uh, we're going to be probably hitting the 1 mil XP figure later today, but that'll probably be on mobile, so I'll be back with you in the morning with what the uh, the total uh, the total result was. And there is 900k XP for the day so far. I know it says 820k on the tracker, but I did 80k on mobile before I uh, before I woke up. Right, but it's half five, which means it's time to go and have dinner. But I'll do more on uh, mobile later, so let's see where we get to. Okay. Okay. Okay, I literally just hit the resume button and... <laughs> I hit resume and just everything imploded on my screen. What the fuck? <laughs> I hit resume and my RuneScape client just like imploded. Okay. Okay, that was very strange, but we are back and it's the next morning and I did a bit of woodcutting last night, got up to 3.8 mil XP, so that means I got about 1.3 million woodcutting XP in one day, which uh, is probably about as hard as I could possibly go with woodcutting. I didn't do anything else. I didn't do farm runs. I didn't do, um, I didn't do any quests or anything like that or any Slayer. Um, so that was probably about 10 10 hours of woodcutting maybe um so that's about as hard as i could physically go and i chopped about fifteen thousand t clocks which is about which is means that i'd hit the drop rate for the beaver in about 16 or 17 days of going that hard um so it's nice to kind of have it conceptualized in my head that that's how much woodcutting i need to do um well, I guess it, I guess it would get better than that actually, because once I hit ninety nine, well, once I get like higher wood cutting, I'll be getting more XP per hour. So, not too bad, I don't think, and we will get there eventually. Here is level eighty seven wood cutting coming in. No beaver pet yet, uh, but if we keep this up, it will come to us eventually. Right, it's time to buy a couple more pieces of lumberjack. I think I can get the boots and the legs. Oh. oh dear, I, see, I, I appear to have run out of U logs. Is that all the U logs that I've got? Oh no, that's not cool. Oh dear. Surely, what's the best way to get U logs? Uh, I really don't want to have to chop a load of them. Okay, so fun fact I've checked the wiki 50 times, but mining these DL rocks doesn't. Um, doesn't roll the pet. So in theory, this is a pretty decent uh, mining training method for me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm mid uh, I'm mid darkness of Hallavale at the moment. If that <laughs> if that last clip didn't make any sense, that's why I was there. I wasn't just there for fun. Um, I'm just doing darkness of Hallavale and uh, just stumbled upon those day out rocks and shit the bed a little bit, thinking that I might. Um, Thinking that I might like be locked out of darkness of Hallavale. I think I wouldn't have been anyway, because I think you can get back here without doing that. Um, but yeah, they don't roll the pet, so that's interesting. Okay, little side uh, side benefit of this quest is I think it gives some good XP. Yeah, seven thousand agility XP and a tome that does XP and anything. I guess agility as well for that. Two K. Do I get it? Yeah. So nice, nice thirty. No, is that? I don't want to get my maths wrong. Yes, 13k agility XP from that quest. Not bad. Pushing towards 66. Um, and now it's time for a taste of hope, which I'm hoping is slightly shorter. Although, to be honest, Darkness of Hallavale has a very bad rep as a long quest. And it took 30 minutes, maybe? So, yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. And this one's medium, so it should be even shorter. Right, time to start a taste of hope. Let's... Uh... Let's have some fun with this. I think I've actually got a decently hard boss fight at the end. Not sure. Alright, I take it back. This quest is markedly worse <laughs> than uh, Darkness of Hallavale. I've already been going 40 minutes and I am nowhere near completed. Um, this having to get the rod back. I swear I didn't like drop it or anything. I swear you just have to get it back as part of, as part of this quest. Is extremely annoying. <laughs> okay, here we go. This should be a relatively... Easy quest, boss. I, it's not the one that I think people struggle with, with the lightning. I think that's the yeah, sins of the father one. So this one shouldn't be too bad. 
Okay, I take it back. This is actually quite hard, and it hits me quite hard as well. Uh, okay, this bit shouldn't be too bad. So I can hit 30s, um, but I think because I got 65 attack, I just hit so infrequently. Okay, I think I was just getting unlucky at the start, so I started hitting really good with the flail. Uh, so that was pretty easy, and I'm not too scared now for um, Sins of the Father. I thought that was, uh, like, when, when, it, when it was looking a bit rough near the start, I thought I was going to be a bit screwed on Sins of the Father, but I think we'll be alright. Cool, so this should be the end of A Taste of Hope, and I think I get some XP lamps from this as well. Um, oh, bloody cutscenes, bane of my life. Okay, there we go, right. So we got the XP tome, the Draken's Medallion, that's just so good. I'm going to enjoy using that to uh, teleport around, that's pretty handy. Um, and we'll stick the XP on Agility again, so I think it's 7.5k maybe. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, nice. We're just so nearly 80 strengths as well, I need to just get that. Right, we just started Sins of the Father. I doubt I'll finish it in this sitting, but, well, because I've got to go to uh, the tip, uh, like a real adult, and also mow the lawn, like an even more real adult. But uh, I'm hoping I'll get this finished today. So we got 88 woodcutting last night whilst I was, uh, whilst I was on mobile, uh, but what we're going to go and do now is finish Sins of the Father. Oh lol, I just got 80 strength in the middle of the quest. Well, there's 80 strength for you. Um, nearly done. Uh, I think I'm going to fucking struggle with that final boss. Like, a lot with these stats. Um, it's probably doable, but I think it'll take a few attempts at the least. And this is exactly why we needed to be hunting the beaver to be doing this quest, because you need to chop the blister wood logs as part of the quest, and they are definitely rolling for the beaver right now. That would be quite the way to get it, but I don't think we will. Um, but yeah, we couldn't have done this quest before unlocking woodcutting. Right, we're probably, if anything, overkilling it with the ten brews and the five restores, but... I think this is still going to be tough even with this invent, um, just because the 65 attack is really quite low, I'm going to be very inaccurate, um, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> oh, oh, that's painful. Hard to tell if I was going to make that as well. I think I probably would, I think I just need to manage my supplies a bit better. Um, I think I probably can do that just. Oh, God, that was a bit stressful. It wasn't too hard, actually, that last stage, um, because I've done so much P4 TLA. Um, so that was light work in comparison to trying to get those insanity tasks. Um, but I'm so glad we got that done. Took uh, three attempts in the end. Um, stupid death on the second one. Um, but yeah, basically quest complete. Oh, so good. Right, there is the end of the quest. Um, doesn't even mention the blood out to teleport there. Um, so one of the the main thing we did that for was the blood out to teleport. But another huge thing we got was right. 65 agility there. We got this thing which gives 90,000 XP in any skill we want. So obviously with our 10k uh, agility XP per hour method, we're going to be choosing agility. Um, so let's just crack on with it, shall we? Let's see what we can get to. Oh, and there we are. Midway to level 68 agility without training on a course at all. That is wild. So we haven't got many more quests that we can do for agility XP or a significant amount of agility XP. We've still got Monkey Manners 2. Still technically got Dragon Slayer 2 though. I don't think I'll actually do that before. Um, and there's that other one. My arms... Something on the other. My arms wanking. I don't know. Who knows what that quest line, where that quest line is going, right? <laughs> So whilst we were on mobile last night, we got 90 woodcutting, which means that we can now chop Redwoods AFK. That's 3.3 million woodcutting XP I've got in the last, like, five days or something. So that's pretty cool. Um, I also went and got all of the, uh, the secondaries for quite a lot of the potions that I've got. 
Um, so I'm going to probably turn those in now um, and then we'll see kind of where we're at in terms of level 70 herbal already for Song of the Elves. So we've used pretty much all of our herbs and we are 7 or 8k off level 68 which leaves about 140k XP to get which isn't really that much. Um, I definitely have that in herb seeds. Um, you know the irrits there are 50k alone. Um, the rest will kind of roughly add up to probably around 150k, 140k. Um, and I'll be getting more as we go from uh, doing contracts and such. Um, so, we should be good on the herb law. I just need to do quests for the agility and then the mining will come super easy. Um, but yeah, we're really close to Song of the Elves. Much closer than I thought. The only issue is if I can do it with like Ivan's Blast or not. Um, my gut thinking is probably not because I don't have great food and I don't have great health uh, either. Um, or prayer. <laughs> Um, but we'll probably give it a go. If we can't do it, then we can't do it. We just have to train a bit, but it should be fine. Right, controversial here. Um, but I've planned my route now to get the rest of the agility XP. And I don't need to train anymore. So, on our way to cut our first redwood logs, we're going to use this book of knowledge on herb lore. Which is controversial, I know. Um... But I think it's probably the most useful thing I can I can use it for, to be honest. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to... Now I've got forestry. I'm supposed to cut with other people, aren't I? Cool. Right, let's see how many logs we can get. I think I need 60, actually, for... um, For what's it called? The, for, uh, the, the lumberjack top. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to having a full lumberjack soon. Without doing any temple tracking, which is nice. So, like a footballer cheating on his wife, last night I had a momentary lapse in judgement and uh, I bought the lumberjack top and legs at the store while I was on mobile, not recording, and I looked down and was like, oh no, <laughs> I'm a YouTuber, I need to record these things. Um, but yeah, uh, that's a progress update we made. <laughs> That's actually got a handy item. Well, I guess it's the same as uh, Monk's robes, isn't it? But it looks better. Um, and then what can we get from the medium clue? Nothing but fire lighters. Little hard casket. Let's see what we can get. Armadil full helm. Nice. That might be useful for God Wars one day when we eventually go there. Maybe. Not so sure. <laughs> oh, and I missed the level because I'm a terrible, terrible person. Um, but that is 65 Slayer, big level because we unlock Dust Devils, which is one of the best tasks that we're ever going to get. Um, I need to get the Slayer Mask unlocked relatively quickly, and I think I've only got about 150 Slayer points. Um, so I need to stop skipping tasks, stop being a little bitch, and uh, kill some more stuff. So now that I've got a full lumberjack, I think I'm going to struggle a bit at two tick teeks because the birds actually do hit me quite a bit because I'm only 62 <laughs> defense. Hi, Stal. Um, Stal is here with me. Um, and so without the defense bonus of me, uh, maroon legs and fighter torso and whatnot, I think I'm going to struggle a bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is make this amulet of defense. I don't think anyone's ever gone out of their way to make an amulet of defense before, but... Gives us plus seven stats, which is, you know, like a 20% boost over what we're wearing anyway. Um, so that should help us. And we're also, at the same time, going to go and do Tears of Gothics, which I've not done for weeks. Fist of Gothic, uh, Fist of Gothics? Tears of Gothics is a weird, quirky little bit of content, isn't it? Um, but there is 8k prayer XP. That's wild. Um, and level 49 prayer. Um, I don't think we actually... Oh, we do want lot redemption. That's useful. Um... But yeah, we've still got a while to go till 60. I have got a decent amount of bones and sold heads in the bank, but I think 60 is still a little way off, and 70 is certainly a long way off. So last night we got 91 woodcutting, bringing it up to a formal XP for the week. <laughs> really uh, pushing on with it. Um, shouldn't really be too long to get the beaver at this sort of pace, and I'm thinking I'm probably going to go even harder with it next week. Um, but we got some clue scrolls, so let's see if we can do these. Okay, we actually managed to get all of the caskets, which I'm surprised about. I don't think I can... There's, there's quite a lot of hard clue steps that involve um, items I can't get. But here we go. Right, easy. Page, not too bad. That's rubbish. 
That's also rubbish, but the outlooks are quite good because uh, I do need GP generally, so that's quite useful. Right, I think we'll call it there for the end of the episode. Um, massive thank you to the YouTube channel members for uh, helping to make all this possible. Uh, Avery Fields, IT Warrior, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, Mitchell Nunley, and the most recent patron, patron, member, DJ Focus. Um, thanks for making this possible. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, shit loads of progress on the woodcutting front and the beaver front. No beaver yet so far, but um, it'll come. It will come. Um, I'm, I'm vaguely hoping to get 99 woodcutting next episode, but that would be quite a lot of woodcutting, and I, I don't know what availability is going to be with work. Um, but having the redwoods available is nice because it just is like kind of extra type of woodcutting I can do when I'm not available to do two tick uh, woodcutting. Um, and yeah, we're getting pretty close on the Song of the Elves requirements. Only six, uh, only one mining level, three agility levels, and three herb lore levels to go. Um, so yeah, we, we, we're, we're getting there. And I'm hoping that I'm going to kind of get the beaver and get Song of the Elves done in the same video because that would just be ideal. Um, and I could then just get straight into Corrupted Gauntlet as soon as I get there. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.